Nicole, it's Andrea here at VW Family Farm, and we have found a problem in our garden. This is something we've been getting questions about, and lo and behold, we have this going on in our own garden. So this is a perfect time to talk to you about squash bugs. So let's just jump right into it. Where did these things come from? Uh, why do we all of a sudden have them in our garden? Well, let me tell you, squash bugs are like a leaf shaped bug they look kind of like a leaf uh, and we're going to insert some footage throughout this video so you can see what we're talking about but they have been living here all winter uh, the adults can live all winter long they really thrive if you leave dead foliage on your garden uh, leaves and uh, spent plants and things you don't clean your garden off at the end of the season we're guilty of that here as well sometimes we're just tired and we just say you know what we'll clean it up in the spring before we replant it but if you do that you're running the risk of squash bugs will get under stuff and they will live all winter long they can also live through the winter in things like little outbuildings and things you have around your garden um, anywhere they can hunker down and stay alive they will and then when you come out and plant your beautiful garden in the spring uh, they will come and they will fly to your squash plants they thrive on squash plants as well as pumpkins uh, as well as watermelons and cantaloupes and even cucumbers they live on all of those things they're in the same family and they will invade all of those however we see the most problem with them here on squash one interesting thing to note is they will have one generation of youngins children all that whatever you want to call them per year so what that means is they're out laying eggs um, in early summer so if you can hold yourself back on planting your squash don't plant them in the um, just barely past your last frost which is what we do and what I know you guys do sometimes because we're all so eager for squash but optimum conditions for squash are not when it's still super cold outside and you can just barely get away with growing them if you wait just a tad you very well could be avoiding uh, a lot of squash bug problems because early summer is when they're laying that generation of eggs like right now I found a furry friend so what that means is if you can hold off a little bit you will avoid a lot of squash bug infestations because right now is when they're laying their eggs on our plants and probably your plants as well so if your plants were quite a bit smaller just getting started uh, you are going to be able to control that a whole lot better than these huge squash plants we have now. So am I saying if you find some eggs, you can go smush those eggs and you've killed a whole generation of squash bugs and you'll have no more problems for the whole year? No. But if you can plant just a tad later, you're going to have less problems. And if you grow fall squash, you're going to have even less problems. And that has proven true in our experience. We have a whole lot less pest pressure in the fall from squash bugs. So one very important thing you can do, if you've already been infested with them and they've killed your plants, get those plants out of your garden because you're gonna be taking a lot of squash bugs and eggs with them. Get them out, burn them, um, just get them away from your garden and replant. But on the replanting note, crop rotation. I've been telling y'all about that on like fall planting and stuff. Do not plant your squash right back where you were having all those squash bug problems. If you can help it. I know some of you guys can't help it and that's just how it is. But if you can help it, move to a different area in your garden. But let's say you have a plant that looks like this. It's definitely sickly. Uh, you can see these yellow leaves. That's a, that's a telltale sign because what squash bugs do is they suck the sap out of these leaves and basically dehydrate them um, and you will start to see your leaves turn yellow and eventually brown and sometimes you'll come out if you get enough of them and it'll just basically look to you like it died overnight so but what if you're at the point like this and it is still salvageable what do you do then and what are you even looking for to see if you have squash bugs well let me show you so those are squash bugs But let's say you come out and you don't actually see the bugs. Let's talk about some other evidence you can look for. Because they, these, they're all hiding up underneath here. Hiding under the, the base of the plant. But also, they will hide underneath the leaves. One good way to kill them 
If you find them, step on them and smush them. Right here. So if you don't see the bugs, but you're just looking for evidence of squash bugs, look under your leaves. And you can see this leaf right here. They like to lay in this V right here. You're going to see it down um, on the lower part of the leaf, I guess you'd say. Okay, now these are not as easy as just squishing them. They're a little bit hard. So another thing you can do, once you find the eggs, you can get you a piece of really good sticky tape. This is actually Gorilla Tape. It's really sticky and works real well. I turn it inside out, of course, where the inside's not sticky. Put it on a few fingers. Go down here to the plant, or to the leaf. But look at all these eggs. That's one way you can get rid of them. And then you can turn around and smush them if you can. They're really hard. I just try to get rid of them. Or you can sit down here if you don't have the tape and just pick them off. You're going to sit there, you, you're going to mess your plant, your leaf up a little bit. Because they're laying them right in that crease. They're really hard to get to. Another thing you can do is you can try to find all the bugs. I don't ever think you're going to find them all, but you, the more you find, the less eggs that's going to be laid. Also, once them hatch, and you've seen those a while ago, there's a pretty good sized brown leaf looking bug. But when they're uh, juveniles, the small ones, they're going to be little bitty gray bugs and uh, kind of like whitish legs. That's what you're going to be looking for also. That's after these eggs have hatched. But another way that you can get rid of the bugs and the eggs, we have got some spray from Hoss Tool that we're going to try. We haven't ever used it before, so we will give you an update on this and see how it goes. But it's called takedown spray. It's all organic, but it's not certified organic because where they get their canola oil is not, per se, organic certified. Other than that, it's just a basic pyrethrin spray, if that's how you say that. But if you're going to spray that, you want to spray that at dusky dark. That way it has time to soak in, dry up, because uh, it can affect the honeybees or any bees out there. And just because you don't own honeybees, there are honeybees pretty much everywhere. And we definitely don't want to affect the honeybee population or any bee population. We need our pollinators. So this is the takedown spray. This is what it looks like if you're interested. We're going to give it a shot and see how it goes, and we will let you know. A couple more things I did want to mention if you want to go about this without spraying, which I totally understand. Um, and if it's not super terrible yet, you can take that route and potentially save your plants. You can gather up all the bugs you can find and put them in a bucket of soapy water, and that will take care of them. And then once they are uh, dead, you can dispose of that. Another option, you can put cardboard down under the base of your plant and at night they're going to get up under it. You can come out first thing in the morning and you can squish them. So, um, or you can squash them. So that's a couple options if you want to give that a try. I hope that answers all your questions about squash bugs. You, if you grow squash, you are probably going to deal with them at some point, but I would encourage you grow a fall garden because I think you will be so amazed at how much less pest problems you have because insects are, have done their um, hatching and um, I mean let's face it most baby animals insects uh, mammals all those are born in the spring and then so in the fall everything's winding up getting ready for winter all the life cycles and everything are changing and it just it just works well it just grows a really great garden so give that a try We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you think this video will help other people, please share it for us. That is the best way you can help our channel is sharing our videos. If you hadn't subscribed, please do so. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. We appreciate you guys and God bless. Right there is some rare footage of just freshly hatched baby squash bugs. Right. There. And there's some more eggs.